right, it's that time once again for another Altaric Valley, July the 17th, 2024. Looks like we got 20 Maniacs up in the house, man. Looks like we are up against the Augie pre-made in Ruthless Renegades here right now. They got a shit ton of boomies, a lot of rogues, and hunters. Don't forget to hit that like, share, subscribe, and notification bell. I'm heading over to this way here. Watching out for that back door because Balowell is in here. You know they're going to try and get that gateway up here. I'm putting some traps and flares over there ready for them. Uh, no, it looks like they got to divert to the main choke point because they see us over here. Now we got to start fighting them. Hey, start DPSing from up here, right? <laughs> they got a lot of people that are still rushing over by that area. Possible maybe a different warlock will go ahead and put that gateway up and try to sneak up here too. We got pretty good split going on right now we're attacking them from both sides here let's see how the fight is gonna go they got a few hks on us already we're starting to pick up a few now too they got a couple hunters down there yep there's thatcher probably one of their top dps like i said they got a shit ton of boomies in here man holy smoke that's a lot of star falls right <laughs> griefs really you're gonna try and grief me all right come on i'm waiting for it where's the one shot Come on, where is it? Where's it at though? I mean, <laughs> you're gonna go through all that trouble and try to one-shot me and then you're gonna just chicken out and hit evasion and run? <laughs> Alrighty then, we're starting to push into them now. We got a few HKs now. We got a little bit more than 10 more than they have. So we have won the first exchange. They got some people in our base already. With that many stealth, yeah, they're definitely gonna have some people down in our base for sure. You know that's definitely gonna be the play. Looks like we got a druid tank up here. Can we get the druid tank down? Can we knock them off the cliff? What's it going to be, right? Almost need like a priest up here to mind control them to the edge and then throw that explosive trap right on the other side. <laughs> Let's see if we can do some damage first. Sometimes you can take them out. Sometimes you can't. It just depends on how well they know how to play the bear, right? And if you know how to soothe them and de-enrage them too. I'm going to use a Displacer there, and I'm going to use a Pest Fogger. Nice, got him. <laughs> hey, sometimes it works that way, too. We're capping the flag. Looks like Druid Tank's going to go that way. We got people at Stonehearth Graveyard. I had to recall back to the base. Let's see about getting these towers back. They didn't have anybody guarding them, so easy cap clap. Now we're heading over to Tower Point. There's somebody here. I'm going to drop a flare, drop some traps. Yeah, with the commander here... It's a lot easier to defend for sure. That is one thing that kind of sucks about the bunkers and the towers in the midfields. If you do not have somebody there to distract or CC or kite the commanders inside, you're not capping that. <laughs> Before, you used to just go right into them and just easy tap the flag and then you could run away or anything you wanted to do from there. Now they're back at Snowfall. We have... A lot of stuff going on in the midfield. We got taps on SHB and Ice Wing as well as Stonehearth Graveyard. They're trying to hold some kind of graveyard down south so they can mount an offensive team. Let's see if I can knock him back there. Not quite. The trap didn't quite hit. A little too far away. I was trying to do a knock back to knock him over that hill and down the hill there. Still, see if we can take out the monk first. Soothing Mist. I don't have any interrupt. Yeah, they watch your cooldowns for sure. They can see when you use your kick. You definitely want to make sure to save that for whenever they get low. Like right now would be a perfect time to kick. I didn't have it though, so. Gotta be more, you know, on point with that. Now the monk's back to full completely. Looks like got Cocoon in another 13 seconds too. Yeah, you gotta take him out before that Cocoon comes back for sure. Because obviously anybody can live with that Cocoon. They're going to end up capping the graveyard. I don't think we have enough people up here to finish them. I guess that's okay. We'll have to do a trade. We got Ice Blood Graveyard back. It's going to put them here at Snowfall to resurrect from the south. And we're going to cap Stone Earth Graveyard right now. They're going to get Snowfall in about 15 seconds. I'm just wasting time here right now, you know? This is literally a waste of time. <laughs> we need more damage. And like I said, the guards are going to pop up soon. Not quite enough gas to finish Cobra there. Hey, here come the guards. I got knocked a little bit. The guards are running that way. The guards die so fast, though. Pretty much one explosive shot can take out all the guards. Yeah, 
Now if we can get the kill and get rid of the bear, we could definitely cap again. But like I said, I'm definitely wasting time here. They got a triple cap going on in our base right now. The relief hut's tagged, as well as east and west tower. Why am I sitting here wasting time? Because we want to kill that monk, man. We're not going to cap, though, with the druid. I guess it was just more of a satisfaction thing to say, Hey, monk, you are not invincible. I'm going to go ahead and put some traps this way. See about slowing them over there. Can't get the bear out, though, so we can't cap. Now, like I said, they have a few resurrecting, so anybody that dies in our base down south, they're going to spawn here at Stofall. This is not good. Time to just get out of here. <laughs> we did what we wanted to do. We took out the monk. Recall to the base. I'm going back. Stone Earth Bunker and Icewing Bunker both burned. We got both of those for 200 points. And there is a rogue in here. Looks like we're going to go get opened up on. Try to get over to the edge here. I'm going to turtle and try and draw them out. There's two rogues in here. Okay. Looks like we're good. Griefs is back there. I don't have much left. I got Trinket, so I'm going to have to use that. This is before the Hunters were able to use Intimidation without a pet. Yeah, they got several Stealthy over here. They really want to hold this graveyard for sure. West Tower's got a minute 42. We're going to take him out, though. Thatcher's going to go down easy mode there. Yeah. That's one thing about Boomies, man. They do a lot of damage, but they take a lot of damage, too. They definitely go down with the ship for sure. Loot all these bodies. Make sure there's no rebirths or any kind of resurrects. Now we got to start worrying about what's going to happen at IBT next. Make sure the rogue doesn't get in our base. We don't want to have to keep coming back here. Yeah, you got your vanish off, but we found you. Finish off the rogue. Assassination seems to be where it's at right now. A lot of rogues are going assassination. Now we got some action here in the midfield. They sent a lot of team on offense now. They realize they're not going to win this one with the team fight. But problem for them now is we capped the aid station. So that means our team is going to wipe them up there. And they're going to all resurrect that snowfall. We'll be able to easily just go all in, take out the boss. Probably even burn north and south if we had to. Yep. They got a lot coming here now. Pretty much their entire team will be on offense very shortly. We took out the one tank. Now we got Druid tank. Cobra's up there on the hill once again. Boomy in the back. Chasing him down. Probably need to get on Cobra though. <laughs> it's kind of a waste of time taking out the DPS. Well, maybe not. We got him. Focus fire. Now we can take out the monk. We'll spawn right here. Now they capped the graveyard. Yeah, they got Galv too, so that's another 100 points for them. They feel like they got something accomplished by taking out Galv. Hey. And looks like IBT's got two and a half minutes. We got one and a half before North burns. And we're starting to fight the boss already, it looks like. We're definitely going to get overrun here at this graveyard. And it kind of sucks too because any targets we do take out, they're going to spawn behind us here at the flag. Not great news at all. Rogue's got evasion up. You got to wait to take him out or hit him from behind. Yep. Now we got to deal with the tank once again. Cobra's back too. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty much we're just slowing them down now. That's all we really got to do. Offense is going to be able to do their thing up north. Even if they have to sit there and wait for North Bunker, it's fine. They got Stormpike Graveyard back just now, so that means we do have a graveyard up there. Obviously, if they had all the graveyards flipped like that, if anyone died up north, they would have resurrected that Frostwolf graveyard. That's not going to be good for their team down south for sure. The more people we get back here on defense, the less towers they are going to actually burn. They're going to get probably IBT. That's probably what they're going to do. That's another 100 points for them. But they need a lot more than that to do the victory screen here. They got a lot in here. Don't have it. I do have a displacer. Sometimes you can try and get one, but... There's just too many in there. I'm not sure it will work properly. Plus, like I said, you got to put your traps and your pest foggers down exactly. I'm going to try it anyway. Let's get the trap. Uh, nope, the wall screwed me there. I did knock a bunch of them out, but there's still one or two in there. <laughs> it pulled most of them, though. Shoot, the boss is already dead. GG, man. Scarecrow with the top killing blows. Looks like Nomadic was the top damage. 
and Wody and Helix are basically tied for top hills. May all of your random battlegrounds be epic. A thousand battles, a thousand victories. Until next time, GG for the Horde.